Are you ready? Hey peeps, how's it going? And I'm kind of piggybacking off of my uh, Wednesday night video for those of you guys who checked it, go check it out. Um, but I'm putting my Pistons twist on this. Um, the Lakers got a um, lucky bounce, if you should say. I don't even know how they picked it. All they do is just pick an envelope. But they got the fourth overall pick. Now, as we all know, if you guys follow the NBA, um, or I should say outside of the Pistons, that the Lakers want to win and win now because LeBron is getting older. They have a lot of young pieces and the expectation of having LeBron on your team is championship or bust. So they are looking to acquire some major assets, giggity. Um, there is going to be a blockbuster trade this season before the real NBA season even starts. So now my real thought here is how can the Pistons capitalize on this? Now, there's been a rumor that uh, the Lakers are looking to trade Lonzo for the seventh overall pick, which belongs to Chicago. The Pistons could hop in here and really piggyback on this and, um, you know, trade away a bad contract, even trade away the 15th overall pick. But in order to do so, you're going to have to part away with a really good player. So, that means, realistically, Blake or Drummond might be on the trade block. Um, do I like that? I do not. But, um, it's a very real option for this team. The fourth overall pick and the seventh overall pick, are, I think, are one of the most um, tradable pieces. But again, really outside the top three, I don't know if there's going to be a player that's going to change the franchise. Um... The way that some of those guys have the capability of doing. Um, I know not everyone's bought in on the Williamson, Williamson hype, the Zion hype. There we go. Um, which is res respectful. I can respect that. You know, you got to sh show me in the NBA that you can be that good. But that dude's a freaking nature. And if anyone's got any potential of being super good, it's going to be him. Not saying that Barrett or Moore is going to be bad or anything like that, but you guys get what I'm trying to say. Regardless, um, this might be a package deal, uh, a three-team trade to either acquire the seventh overall pick or the fourth overall pick, and that's really just daydreaming. But I'm really more concerned about adding more players. Um, you know, John Luer could be a, a very good piece to trade, actually, and someone like the Lakers who are trying to actively go out in free agency and get people. You can buy him out and clear up some salary cap. You can buy Reggie Jackson out. That's gonna be a little bit more of a payout. He's gonna want more money than what Luer is going to want. But at the same time, a team could take that and shed that contract, which teams like the Lakers, now even uh, New Orleans, who's got the number one overall pick, and technically they still got Anthony Davis on their team. Anthony Davis might want to stay there. They are looking to win now. And giving them some bad contracts they can buy out and clear cap, they can draw in people like Jimmy Butler, Kevin Durant, Kyrie, um, God, any, anyone else who's a big... I don't, this, this, this free agency class is redonkulous. It's crazy. So, the Pistons could really, if they're smart, um, because, you know, I'm not liking what the Lakers are doing at all. That front office is a joke. And if I was a Lakers fan, I'd be furious. They don't know what they're doing. You could really mess them up and possibly get a steal. But, again, I am just daydreaming. And that is all f false hope. But, um... Nonetheless, it should be an interesting offseason for everybody. And depending on what's going to happen in the East with Philly and Boston, if they're going to move up or however that's going to work, um, the East might be getting scarier and scarier. Although, who knows, man? Who knows? Freaking the draft lottery was really good for me. I like seeing the take, taking, taking, the tanking taken out of the game say that 12 times fast 
but nonetheless it makes everyone going to want to win because that draft lottery bleeped up a lot, whole lot of stuff for everybody so especially Knicks fans so can the Pistons capitalize on something this dumb yeah is it realistic no but at the same time I'm just living my fantasy man let me be um until the meantime, that's all I got for you guys. Um, comment down below if you think the Pistons can steal something or make something happen. A work of magic. Slide a hand, something. Uh, Instagram, Twitter links in the description. Check those out. And I'll see you peeps in the next one. Peace!